Oh, I like this. Yellow one nights. Yellow one nights. It's a radio. Yeah. Well, the whole yeah. list of radio up there. Okay, so Mum and Ish is back in the kitchen. I've never baked a loaf of bread in my life. And the old Armenian woman inside of me was just like, look, I can do this now. I have all the time in the world. I wanted to make a loaf that my grandma really, really wanted. She's not really into sweet things, so I thought I'd make her a red Leicester cheese loaf. Hence the Everest of red Leicester cheese, which I have in front of me. So yeah, there's a lot of cheese. There's around 100 grams of red Leicester here. My mum's a nutritionist and she's probably crying while she's watching this. I'm ready for this, let us do this. So the recipe actually states for 500 grams of bread flour, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna substitute it just for some plain flour. 100 grams of bread Leicester, water, some seven grams of yeast, one egg to dress the loaf. This is gonna go one way or the other. It's either going to go really well or really bad. So let's find out, shall we? I don't have a mixer, so I'm gonna have to knead this by hand. This will be my workout for the day, I'm already telling you that. So we're gonna melt 30 grams of butter into the plain flour. So I'm gonna go and measure this all out now. The Pyrex. grams of flour. As you can tell, there's a lot of dairy in this, so if you are intolerant, I probably advise you not to make this bread. Unless you're very near a toilet, then go ahead. We're melting our butter in the microwave. What is that accent? Literally, that is the biggest pile of cheese I've ever seen in my life. This is gonna taste so good though. Gonna add some salt to the flour as well. Now we're gonna put the butter in. Is it softened? Okay, it's not softened at all. This is melted salted butter, and I'm just gonna pop that in there. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'm probably gonna mess it up somehow, but we're just gonna crumble it between our fingers like it says. Mmm, smells nice, and I haven't even done anything yet. So now we're gonna add our yeast. So we're adding seven grams of this yeast, but this is a packet of 11, so how the heck do I open this? Please don't do this at home. Put seven grams of yeast in this. Okay, so I'm gonna slowly add this until it turns into a ball. Okay, I know why people use a mixer when doing this, jeez. It kind of feels nice though. It's like having Play-Doh all over again. Mmm, it's turning into a ball! Slime ball. We've added uh, way too much water. We may have messed this up, folks. I made it into a wet ball. Let's add more flour. Should we need some fix? Now I'm gonna do something really naughty, and I'm gonna eyeball this because I don't even know how much I need. But I'm just kind of gonna sprinkle it on like that. Okay. So now that my mixture's in a ball, I'm gonna need for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna watch Wizards of Waverly Place, and I'll see you in 15 minutes. Workout. Here we go. Notice the birds chirping. I find them so loud. Without all the pollution, they seem super happy at the moment. So at least that's another positive to think about. Okay, I don't think that's how you're gonna need the bread. There's a good way to get rid of some anger if you've got some, honestly. This is fun, I'm enjoying this. Okay, I needed it for 15 minutes and now I've put it and wrapped it with cling film and I have to leave it for 1.5 hours. I really appreciate the time and hard work that goes into these small things that we enjoy by just buying, you know? It's crazy. But anyway, we'll see you in basically two hours. Two hours later. I put the dough on top of the boiler because it said a nice warm place and I didn't realize just how much it was gonna rise. Oh my gosh, look, it's risen. This is crazy. I don't know why I'm so happy. 
So now we're going to put them into two sausages and we're going to kind of twist them into making them into like a knot. Oh my god, it feels so nice. Oh, I love squidgy things. Let me take my rubber off and then we'll start get molding. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like bread bread. I want to eat it. It's so squidgy. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like a bakery. It's proper. So I'm gonna put my oven on to preheat at 180 degrees. Yeah, so we're gonna half this. Oh, that is the most satisfying thing ever. I feel like five years old playing with Play-Doh. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the cheese. Also made a bit of a mistake with the cheese. The Mount Everest of cheese that I had grated is way too much. About half of this don't need to grate that much cheese. You're gonna take just like a bunch of cheese like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it in. I feel like more cheese is needed. Needed. <laughs> Got it. No. I know my bit my my grandma's just saying that our like ancestors I guess well great grandmother, great -grandmother were bakers so she's like well proud of me right now proper Armenian oh, jig right here you got they're probably giving me power right now because I don't know how this has worked out so far I'm so proud of you thanks oh see my grandmother's proud of me I've made it Ooh, I've made it into like a knot. <laughs> I look like such an Armenian tantic right now. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for 30 minutes and then we're gonna put an egg wash on it and some cheese and then the oven. <laughs> Look at that, it hasn't even been baked yet and it looks good. So let's put it in the oven for 40 minutes and see what it turns out. Oh, look at this. I'm actually so impressed with myself. See, you guys can do this too. Wasn't that hard? Wow. wow. I'm like such a domestic goddess right now. I know. Mm. Coronavirus and proper domestic goddess in here. Mm, mm, mm. I made such a good spread. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? Wonderful. New, the new chef. I know, literally. The new chef. Will it cut? Is it even cooked? I don't even know. Here we go, Anushka's first bread. Oh, it's a little bit dry. Feels good. It looks a little bit dry, but apart No, it's from not that, the inside is. It's just, I think it maybe needs to sit for a bit. No, it feels. <gasps> Look at that cross Ooh. section. I mean, it's not bad for a first time. It actually looks like a piece of bread, so. It tastes like a piece of bread as well. It's so weird making your own bread. Yeah, it needs a bit more salt. It's so easy to do. I'm so gonna make more flavors. I can't wait. This has been so much fun. We'll put olives, you can we'll Yes, olives, can. olives, sun dried tomatoes. We started with Yerevan nights, so we're ending the, the, the day with Yerevan nights. I feel like I've had the most productive day. I have a video that's gone up as well uh, where I reacted to 1997, if I didn't say that before. Um, so go check that out if you haven't because it was really funny seeing everyone from the 90s in Eurovision. And I'm gonna retire as a woman now. <laughs> I'm done for the day. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna be making loads more flavors of bread. If you've been that kind of person like me where I love to cook but I haven't had the time, this is literally the time to do it and it was so easy. It takes a little bit of patience and uh, focus. <laughs> but apart from that, I mean it was fun and before I go guys please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here it's very important okay I'm gonna go I have food baby see you guys later bye